Hey everybody, welcome back. Now this time, I have really set myself a challenge. I've made, I, I planned very deliberately. I wrote stuff down on a piece of paper. I have a, a an eight step chord progression. And let me tell you, this was a lot of work. Instead of just playing willy-nilly with this stuff. I came in here with a plan and I I bent it to my will and it was uh, considerably more effort. I tuned the oscillators and I tuned all of these steps on the sequencers to get it to play exactly the note I wanted. And the first thing I'm going to play for you is the basic sequence here on the sequence eight, controlling the E950 in its wavetable mode rather than the speech mode. All of these oscillators are going through the lifeforms mixer into the lifeforms filter on a slow LFO. So the filter gradually opens and closes and then it's going down here to the DSP for some nice atmospheric reverb. And here's what that sounds like. That's my basic pattern. Now, I'm using the precision adder for my second part. And what the precision adder does, as you might suspect, it adds voltages together. It's a little bit different from a mixer. A normal sort of summing mixer, if you have a signal that's say, you know, peaking at three volts, and you have another signal that's peaking at three volts, and you mix them together with a conventional mixer, your output will still be three volts, but it just combines the two signals together. Well, what the adder does is it actually adds the voltage values, so three volts and three volts add together to give you six volts. And this is used for transposing and uh, doing octave shifts and things like that. But basically, I'm feeding it the CV from the sequence 8, which we just heard, and CV from tonic, which I have set up to just toggle back and forth, root and fifth, root and fifth. And it's doing that on a, like, three halves clock multiplication of the tempo from the sequence eight. And if I turn it up, it is Lifeform's oscillator one. I just have it tuned to that note. And if I turn on the CV from the tonic, there's my root fifth, root fifth, root fifth, root fifth. And then if I add in the CV from sequence eight, now it's tracking along with that. Let me bring up the, the fundamental. fifth going in this kind of arpeggiation. What about my thirds? Well, 
I wrote those down, which notes I would need for thirds and minor thirds, because there are some minor chords in this progression, to get my triads. And I sequenced those into the penta over here, and they are playing on oscillator two of life forms. But wait, it's an eight step sequence and penta is a five step sequencer. That's right. So those notes are a little bit, they're drifting in and out of phase with the actual chords. But because of the sheer cleverness of my plan, it works. So. That is that sequence. And then I combine it with the others. stuff to pay for. I'm already daydreaming about what other modules I can get. I think I can fit the little tiny Pico case up here in the front of the table and it won't block anything. And then yes, I, I have a problem and I should seek counseling, but uh, I, there's, there's more to go, a little bit more to go, I think. And uh, if you're interested in helping finance that and looking at some cartoons and hearing my latest in mp3 format then that is the place to go the link is on the screen as well as in the description below i also have a band camp this might wind up on it if the oscillators are still in tune after i shut this down for the night and then power it back on again later it's one of the things about uh, analog especially this 
There's no guarantee that it will all still be in tune the next time I turn it on, but we'll see. Anyway, at Bandcamp, you can listen to songs three times for free before it asks you to pay, and they are high-quality, uncompressed WAV files of what I consider to be my best material. And that link is also in the description below. Thanks a bunch for watching. Uh, click like and subscribe if you find this kind of thing interesting because I've got a lot on the channel already and there's a lot more to come. So stay tuned. See you next time.